I really do like long walks on the beach. I really like the air there, even though sometimes it smells weird. I put my hair back into a ponytail so it would not fly in front of my lens in a hat to help with the glare from the sky. Even on a cloudy day, it can be very bright. Today was overcast. This beach is an off-leash area for dogs. I love watching dogs run and play and sniff each other. They are so, uh, they, they are just unabashedly joyous and they're happy to be running and splashing and greeting each other. A few came, they come running, running, running. I could hear them running up on me and breathing. <laughs> and um, they come up and I would put my hand down and give me a little sniff. Some of them licked my hand, it was so cute. I, I really like that. It's one of those things that makes you smile inside. So I would watch them. Why are they, these dogs lingering? Because, you know, dogs like to find kind of weird stuff on the beach and smell it, eat it. It's disgusting, I know. So I would watch where they would go. And, I, you know, I can't move as fast as a dog. And so I kind of slowly, in my human way, make my way over there to see what they were sniffing. So some of these pictures are from what the dogs were sniffing. Um, when I first got to the beach, I was... I pulled up there with my big van, and then um, there was a small crowd of guys in the parking lot. It's not a very big parking lot. I think it holds like 24 cars. And I, I'm so shy. I was shy to get out of my car, and I have this big camera I'm going to pull out, and then i got to walk past these people. Oh, you know, so I sat there. I went through my settings on my camera, and I'm like, they're not leaving. And um, it was either leave or walk past them. So, I just, I, I did it anyway, and I got out, and I smiled at them, you know, but inside I want to turn invisible, and I want to run really fast past them and hide, because I'm not shy. Okay, whatever. Um, so when you're on the beach taking pictures, you have to get down, like, down on the beach, and you gotta, you gotta get some cool angles so that, um, Every, you know when you're walking along on the beach everybody sees the same thing that we see it from kind of top down and, and that's kind of boring to always just look at things just how we always see them you know, let's take a picture and look at it in a different way so I would get squatted down okay squatting it's a funny word it's almost dirty it's almost a dirty word I squatted down low <laughs> okay but really that's what I was doing I was squatting down low um, and <laughs> I noticed that the clams were squirting up into the air, not like like little clam squirts, like big squam, clam squirts out in the air. And so I was hoping, and I'm like, oh, Jesus, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm swatted down here. <laughs> what one of these clam squirts me in the crotch? That's, that would be terrible. And then I'd have to walk back with, with um, a wet crotch, which would be uncomfortable in itself. And, and then it also looked like I, I peed on myself, so <laughs> I was worried about that. But no, no clams squirted me in the crotch, so it was okay. But I don't think I've ever seen clams squirting like that. I assume it was clams. I can't imagine what else it would be. I, I don't think crabs squirt water or snails don't squirt water. I don't think they do. So it must have been clams. There was a lot of clams. It's a, no, it's a place where you can go and do clam and stuff. I like to eat clams. Um, I wish the sun would have peeked out a bit, but it didn't, um, and it was still beautiful and magical. There were a ton of things to see. I knew that there were going to be a lot of things to see, so I kind of planned out beforehand that I could be mostly focused on treasure washed up on the beach and things uncovered by the low tide and some driftwood, some cool driftwood patterns. There were some really amazing birds, though, and I knew it was going to be the case, but before I went, I planned that I'd mostly just be focused on those things, so 
Okay, so there there was like seagulls and crows and these loons. They were making funny noises and chasing each other around. And they're pretty cool. They're black and white. And they would I'd like to see them up close. Uh, but then there was a big big hawk up in the trees and then there was this crane. I really like cranes. Cranes are so cool looking. I had read that there might be them there, but I didn't think I'd be that lucky. But it was. So I was getting tired, and I hadn't seen one yet, and I was making my way back. And um, I'd been out for a few hours with my big boots on, and I'm like, oh, you know, I'm ready to go. But then there he was. He was just sitting on a rock and being all cool. And I'm like, oh, man, I'm not going to get a good shot, but I'm going to go and go close and look at him. He had this stripe on his head, and then he started to fidget, and he went to fly and I couldn't flip over to video fast enough. But I got that one shot, and I um, hope to learn more and do this often. And thanks for coming for a walk on the beach with me.